parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap Up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in Pittsburgh, PA at Sorgatron Media Studios. With me, I have from Beacon, New York, he is the mad one. He is ready to talk Monday Night Raw. He is mad. Mike? That's not my name. Well, what's, your, what's, your, what's your name tonight? Uh, the Podcaster Experience. The Podcaster Experience! Are you ready to be get experienced or movemented or whatever the case may be? Um, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. All right. Well, let's get into it. You know, you know how I've been trying oh, to do this boy. so I can put you in a better mood for this show, Mad Mike, is to uh, uh, get you into a happy place. Don't think about tonight. Don't think about tonight, Mike, okay? Don't think about, uh, uh, you know, the shakeup and how you feel about it and how you're going to tell me uh, how, how how it's unshakable uh, here in a few moments and, and name changes and all that kind of stuff. I want, I want to talk about what is the best thing in wrestling for you since we departed on Tuesday night. And for me, that is Tennessee wrestling. Okay, I don't that's know, fair. I don't, um, know, I don't know if you've seen my tweets and posts about this. Um, I, I've seen a little. Okay. I've, I've seen a little. I assumed there would be more Jerry Lawler. Um, <laughs> I was trying to figure if if I could find another wrestling show on Sunday because some of the schedule stuff changed for my uh, work that I was out there for. So I'm like, could I find another show on Sunday to go attend and doesn't have Jerry Lawler on it? Sorry, Most- I think I think the mic is hitting their thing a little bit. My mic it's is. Getting- it's getting a little muffled. A little muffled. Uh, it might be something going on with the system. Uh, as, when as you're when you're here. further away, it sounds better. When I'm further away, it sounds better. Let me adjust over here then. Uh, anyways, let me know if that's a little better. Anyway, so yes, no, I was in Nashville and I was um, east of Nashville, so I was even further away from Memphis. Uh, uh, Jerry Lawler was at a show I attended, the USA Championship Wrestling, on Friday night. And, uh, and I can't remember what town that was in. And they also attended Sideshow Wrestling in Morrison, Tennessee, I think. Oh, I, I heard they recently changed that place's name to Mundo, Tennessee. Yeah, Mundo, Tennessee, Impact, Mundo. Tennessee, uh, Blackcraft, Tennessee, for instance. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, that one featured uh, Billy Gunn and James Storm tag-teaming together mad mike and and you are, are they team bad choices that's that's not their name but they do have a name for the tag team would you like to take a second guess at the name of their uh their tag team drunk asses no 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 would you i'll, I'll give you i'll give you <laughs> one more finger. that's that, a good guess that is a good guess that is a good guess uh also i want to i want to say that this was happening in a facility uh that was adjacent to a church my churches in the south are weird sorg <laughs> Tell me about it. But anyways, ooh, yeah, okay, yeah, definitely. Um, but uh, the, do you want one more guest? Um, oh, let me. Uh, oh, you had the first oh. two so quick off the top of your head. I'm pushing it. Oh now. man. Um, it's right there, man. It's redneck right butt stuff. N- uh, nope, nope. <laughs> um, their name was Beer Muscles. Oh God! <laughs> they at least had one. They piece. should have just gone with the fucking Viking experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could have been the muscle experience. It could have been the I don't know. The the not employed by WWE experience. I don't think James Storm should be associated with muscles. Uh, well, no, he's the beer part. Yeah, uh, no, I get it. I mean, and still. he looks in. I mean, you go to an indie show. James Storm looks in better shape than half the roster. That's not saying a lot. No. Uh, also, I get to see Brandon Cutler, uh, somebody who, I, I don't know, he, he was labeled as signed to AEW. Um, Is he related to Steve Cutler? I, I don't think so. 
Um, but uh, the, the, I guess he does cosplay. Like I, had to, I, I was following them on Twitter and stuff. And also, Mike, I, 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 and maybe I'll sport this shirt tomorrow night. Uh, I also made a new friend. I got to have a conversation with Cabana Man Dan. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if that's a Tennessee indie wrestler or the new name Fandango is going to have when he's on SmackDown. <laughs> Well, there's that. Uh, he was in a three-way with Trip Cassidy, somebody I've heard of before, uh, and uh, Mr. Brickster. Um, he comes out with Legos. Oh, so I mean, he and I are kindred then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. They are. I, yeah. I would have get an Indie Mayhem show booked, but it'll just I, be- I, I have Legos right here, so I mean, like at at my beck and call. Did you make anything tonight during Raw? God, I should have. I mean, it seemed like the guy. You could have shook it up and. I don't know. I, I had Sp- a, I had you could have you could have combined Spider Man motorcycle with uh, Bart Simpson ski- skateboard. I I had a late dinner, so I was stress eating sweet and sour chicken. And, and just 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 checking it. Uh, uh, Matt Carlin's according to his PayPal that I used to buy the shirt. It's Cabana Man Dan. Trust me, I, I misspelled Cab- this several Cabana times. Cabana Man Dan. Cab- Cabana Man Dan. Not Cabana, Cabana Van. Oh, I'm screwing this up. Anyways, mm-hmm. isn't that, isn't that this? Isn't that just the Chrisley commercial? <laughs> it could be Chavana. <laughs> but it was interesting. But also, I noticed this uh, uh, um, an interesting format that occurred at both shows. There were five matches booked, and there were two intermissions. Following that takeover format, brother, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but two intermissions. Yeah, we have two intermissions. One's called a, a promo for a WWE Network. The other one's called, hey, look who we signed, and we're going to ruin them within maybe a year. Mm, I no. can't wait for Kushida to be Artie McFly on the main roster in a year and a half. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, I, I come home and I have four wrestling and shows. Lars just comes up to him like, McFly! <laughs> I Also, I came home and I have four wrestling shows to edit from this weekend. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, yeah, that's fun, and and I think my computer might be not happy with the workload so far as I'm trying to get things ready to edit. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyways, on top of client work, on top of new things recording, I, we we have like four new projects recording this week on top of things. So we're pretty busy here around Sorgatron Media Studios. Mad Mike, what what was you, what what did you uh, what was your high point of the week in wrestling or something you saw online with Twitter? Uh, wrestling world or, or something of the sort. Well, um, my high point this week on on uh in in the wrestling world was um me making my own character in WWE 2K19. Okay. And and uh, like I showed my girlfriend, she's like, "Could I make a character?" And I'm like, "Yes, yes, you can." <laughs> and it's gonna be great. I'm very excited for it. Uh, Carlos has this interesting idea as we get into the show here. Uh, talking about Monday Night Raw that just uh, went off the air just mere <clears throat> 10 minutes ago. But um, he, uh, Carl- I don't know. Raw stopped for me about 8.30. <laughs> Carlin's, um says, I said this before, NXT is the bachelor, the bachelor party for WWE. You guys don't make, se- don't make marriage sound very appealing. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 that, I don't know what his experience is from that. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm, I'm fine here. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we lost Mad Mike there. Um. Anyways. Oh, boy. Oh, doctor. <laughs> but we did have, I, was, I came back, I, I went to get tacos, and I came back and I saw there was an, uh, an eight-man tag. Uh, and and it went to break, and it, until we came back, I didn't realize. Oh, hey, more the war uh, the war raiders are here. Cool. And you were wrong, and, and I you, was wrong. I was like Ray wrong. Rose on Monday Night Raw, and I was wrong. You were very wrong. And by the way, um, Sorg, I I have a very important announcement. I am rescinding my challenge. No, the man formerly known as Ro. The man formerly known as Ray Ro. Mm-hmm. Because I'll be damned if I ever punch someone named Eric. What? That's his name. It's Eric. De- Derek? Er- no, Eric. Eric. Just Eric. Just Eric. That's it. And what's he, what's Hans's name? So he's I Eric. Don't, 
Ivar, 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 Ivar. I don't even know. Oh it's, it, boy! You know what? You know what? Um, Hanson's name is. It's someone who watched the Pens game and just key smashed when the Islanders scored. That's his name. Oh, oh, so, so you named him? No, I would have come up with something better, like Hanson. <laughs> Warbeard Hanson was kind of a nice name. Okay, Rare... you, want call, you want to call them the Viking Experience? Sure, fine, whatever. That's idiotic. At least keep their individual names. Uh huh. At least keep their individual names. Like he will be Ray Row. He will be Ray Row forever. Not like, Eric. It, it, he doesn't Ray, look like an Eric. Does Ray Row look like Ray, an Eric to you? No, because the only Viking I know named Eric is Eric the Red. And guess what? He did not have a single shred of red on his entire body. No, no. Well, okay, so that's something that we're going to have to, like, like. By the way, wait, the wait, 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 like, Tina, way, the... Tina says, like, Ivar's seafood bar here in Seattle. Yes. Um, so, uh, the Viking experience mm -hmm. is when you go to Minnesota <laughs> and you just realize, and you tailgate on a Sunday in negative 13 degrees, drinking real shitty beer. And uh, then you lose a playoff game. That's the Viking experience. All right. This one goes out to you, our Minnesota uh, Wrestling Mayhem fans. Don't you know? But uh, anyways, uh, more uh, uh, raw. Yeah, one, one of the best tweets I saw was that they should team up Eric and Rowan, and they should go by the name Luke Harper. Let me touch on a, a couple of the. Uh, Get it? Yeah. I Get it? You. Oh, I got Get you. Get it? I got you. No, no, hold on. If this is a trend, no, sorry, we're staying on this for a little bit. I'm sorry. We're staying on this for a little bit. If this is a trend of all the first and last names coming back in different forms, mm -hmm. may I recommend that we call Donovan Dijak Langston? Langston? Langston. <laughs> Wait, as in Big E? No, no, there's no more Big E Langston. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Rowan lost the name Eric, so now let's use the word Langston. Let's give someone, let's just call someone Antonio. Let's just call someone Cian Almas. Let, do you see what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. We're repurposing all the, all, the, all the lost names. You're recycling. Hey, no name can go to waste. Exactly. I can't wait till Sami Zayn goes to SmackDown and they just call him Mustafa. That's not, I don't, uh, okay. All right. Um, I don't know if this is gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, um, name change name changes aside. Somebody else that had a name change that showed up on Raw on Andrade. Andrade. Well, Andrade's had his name gone for a while now. Yeah, it's still awkward for me. Eh, it makes it easier to type. Not that I have to type it very often. No, either. no, no. Not like that would be uh, helpful to somebody in the WWE production studio. Definitely not, yeah. No. Oh, speaking of the WWE production studio, Sorg, did you catch the boo-boo? Which boo-boo? The boo-boo. There's a boo-boo. I'm trying to think of the... the, the so, okay. so we come back from commercial, mm -hmm. and Bobby Roode and Chad Gable are in the ring, and they're posing. And I'm just looking. I'm like, oh, boy, here come the Usos. And sure enough, the graphic, the Usos come up right under them. I'm like, oh, oh no. No, I oh. did not see that. Oh, somebody fucked. Oh. oh, that's uh, oops. It seems to be like I say that's, that's... now since day one. Oops. <laughs> By the way, the Usos are now called the Penitentiary Experience. Right, yeah. right, right. They both been in jail, guys. It's a joke. Mm. They have been, both of them. Mm. Mm -hmm. AJ Styles coming in as your uh, sixth man. I had a feeling it was going to be AJ. It had to be a AJ literally by process of elimination. <laughs> there, there was no one else it could have been. He's the closest to a John Cena coming over that we could get. Yeah. Yeah. But like that that's why I hate the shakeup shows. Like, I miss the draft. Mm -hmm. I miss the draft. Like, have this first show tell us who's going to be where. Mm -hmm. Like and and no one is getting sent down to NXT, which is a damn shame. 
<laughs> yeah, why isn't that? Or maybe we'll find out Wednesday. No, we won't because that's been recorded for a week or that's so. That's true. That's true. The only person who actually might be is Buddy Murphy. Mm. But I doubt that because that was just based off of Velveteen Dream taunting him because Velveteen Dream is awesome. Right. Um, there's a few names that I don't think were really addressed on the show other than a quick graphic when they recapped who's moved. And they missed every, they missed people in that quick graphic, too. Uh, they, they didn't do the Viking experience in that quick graphic. No, so. they didn't. No, they didn't. Again, so that, that shows how much they think of them. Uh, Eric Young and Cedric Alexander coming over to Raw. Cedric was in the graphic. Yes. Um, Cedric coming over to Raw is great. Mm-hmm. That I that's the only positive move I think they had. Uh, Eric Young officially yeah. splitting out of sanity. <sighs> Not good. Not good. Um, have fun tagging with Heath Slater and Rhino on main event EY. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, who else moved? Any, any other big moves that I'm missing here? Uh, it it R- kind of looked like our truth moved. It kind of looked like it. Uh, based on WWE's Instagram, our truth was there with Kathy Kelly. That doesn't mean anything. I, I didn't listen to it. So he could have our truth could have just thought he got moved. Mm-hmm. Which is possible. But um all right, if you're gonna have Bailey team with someone mm-hmm. because Sasha is Sasha ing. She didn't she didn't make it to Montreal. There's there's a lot of travel problems this week. I, that may right? be it. That may right? be something else. Yeah. Um why why do you team her with one of the only other African American women you have on the show? I I don't think. Wait, wait, wait! I don't think that's an explicit choice. I think it exactly. I don't think it is. I because I, I, I mean, no, I, because they've teamed before, haven't they? No, they haven't. <laughs> unless unless Bailey's just trying to team with all of Team Bad, which I mean, if that's what she's trying to do, then. I I respect her choices. I disagree with them, but I respect her choices. I can't remember who was all part of those those uh, factions. Team bad was team bad was Naomi, Sasha, and Tamina. Of course you do. Um, okay. No, I didn't read anything into it. Um, I I did think it was a little weird Sasha not being there. We could have seen Team Bay Mella. Bay Mella. Because they are they are oh, actually yes. they are actually friends. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Um, they know yeah. versus the iconics. That actually makes sense to me. Happy to see that we're not splitting up any further um, married couples yet. Well, yet, uh, but Lord, we have tomorrow. I guarantee the riot squad is going to show up there. Naomi, or one of them. Mm, I think they break up uh, I, I, by proxy of the like. I think like Sarah. No, maybe not Sarah. They but... made you. Say, they made you say Ruby to SmackDown. That could be because I think I think Sarah and Liv would work well just them together. But Ruby can definitely go on her own. So, but still, I like that faction. I kind of hope they don't go away. Um, yeah, they could have just not put her on TV. I don't know who he's referring to, uh, Larry in the chat. Um, yeah, Bailey. They could have just put, not put Bailey on TV. That's true too. That's true too. Or maybe they're making some kind of point there. I don't know. Happy to see Lacey Evans in a match. Uh, I think a good match with Natalia. Oh, I'm not. Uh, she almost killed Natalia. The moonsault. Yep, right to the boob. It did look wouldn't a little awkward. Wouldn't be surprised if Natty was out for a couple months with a ruptured implant. Mm. That'd be unfortunate. Yep, if you're going to do that move, you need to make sure that lands. The hop-up she does is impressive. Sure it is. But it again, if it doesn't land properly, you're still going to well, catch it for it. Let's just hope that's first night on Raw Butterflies, or first match on Raw Butterflies, perhaps, and she gets better with that. But or or maybe we should have had her seasoned in NXT for a little bit longer. She should have baked in the NXT oven for a little bit longer, maybe. And we have, and then we could have had her come out as the 1920s racist experience. No, 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 no. I was trying not to reference that's, that that's, on that's, the that's show. Her gimmick. No, that's her gimmick. No, she's just. Well, it's either that or cosplaying as every character from Street Fighter. Let's go with that. Let's just let's just believe that's what's happening. All right. All right. Uh, tonight she was tonight she was Chun Li's alternate costume. Yes, <laughs> she was. That's when you hit A on the controller. I was completely. Mm-hmm. I, I was completely playing Marvel versus Capcom earlier tonight. Actually, um, 
Yeah. Uh, you, uh, Tina's pointing out that Natalia messed up her uh, usual kick combo as well. Yeah, na- yeah, Natty's, despite being born into it, not that good at wrestling. Mm. Not that great. Um, Anywho. Anything Lord, else? I, I, I don't have high hopes for this shake <laughs> Not excited about it? No. Like, they just took all the parts I like about SmackDown and they just put them on Raw where I know they're going to get fucked up. Maybe they'll just throw all the tall people over on SmackDown and then you don't have to bother watching it. No, because I, I like SmackDown. SmackDown mm-hmm. is shorter and funner to watch. Is I it? don't want to see Kofi Kingston beat up random white guys with beards that my girlfriend can't distinguish between. Wait, who are you talking about? She literally has face blindness when it comes to Drew, Seth, and Roman. Literally. Really, face blindness. Can't tell any of them apart. But they're so. No, no, they're really not. Drew, Seth, and Rome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just put them right next to each other. I am, and I'm doing this thing where I kind of like I do that thing where I I mesh them together so you know what like the baby's gonna look like, and I'm like, wow, the baby just looks like it looks the same. It's all the same. Tall bearded people. Yeah. Um, we should probably talk about um TNA's fashion, the dollhouse. Wait, what? The dollhouse work. We should talk about it. Like Mia Yim and I don't can't remember who else was in it. God, I wish. Um, no, the dollhouse that was on Raw. Did you know you what? Not for, okay, that? okay, no, I, I'm sorry. I'm fucking blocking it out of my head. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, you know what's creepy? Thank you. You know what's creepy? We had a dollhouse in in the uh back uh here that belonged to uh, one of the other businesses. Um, they do not uh, deal in dollhouses. They're actually a realty, uh, not realty, um, a property company. And uh, and uh, it's been there for a while. So it kind of freaked me out to see the dollhouse on like the WWE TV. And I'm like, is that the same one? What the hell? Um, so, um, also, also, there was the trailer for Annabelle Comes Home in front of Hellboy today. No, that, was, to that, that was Paige. That was Paige. That was Paige? That was Paige. Thank you. Missy made, made that reference too. Thank you. <laughs> Um. All right. So. So it looks like we're gonna get Sister Abigail. That's what I was thinking. So is Sister Abigail a doll? So it's not gonna be Bray Wyatt and Drag? Is that is that what's? Gonna... I I would prefer it just to be an actual woman's wrestler. I, yeah. It's Chelsea, or not Chelsea? Yeah, Chelsea. Wait, what the hell's her um, name? Well, if she didn't have a broken arm, I could say, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. That but it is true. Um, they're not doing anything with Nikki Cross. <gasps> I just had a great idea. No, I don't know if it's gonna be a great idea. It what has nothing it? to do with this. It was kind of going to a conversation we had earlier, and I really don't want to talk okay. anymore about the creepy doll. Um, uh, Paige... by the way, that good job ripping off Lucha Underground completely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Completely ripping off the trend. Oh yeah, well they're not around anymore, so we can completely just do whatever impact is. Um, That's true. Who? Oh, who interrupted Elias tonight? That was uh, Rey Mysterio. Booyaka, 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 to get uh, obliterated by who obliterated him? Um, Big Lars. Yeah, Lars Sullivan came out. Big Lars. Um, but anyways, I had a point. Oh, Paige. Is going to be uh, managing a new tag team tomorrow. Yes, yes. Uh, that's exciting. That's, that's exciting. That's... Who do you think it's going to be? Oh God, who do I think it's going to be, or who do I want it to be? It could be. I could see it being um, surviving members of the Riot Squad. Um. Okay. This is gonna. No, it's not gonna be them because then it's just Absolution 2.0. It is. Um, well, it was the other girls that he she was teamed with. But anyways, I I want it to be the Sky Pirates. <gasps> I I don't think it's going to be because that would be something good. And judging by tonight, they don't want to do a lot of that. I fear. Actually, it can't be them because they'd be heels. I was gonna say I fear that it's going to be Aaliyah and Vanessa Bourne. Okay, but um, uh, by the way, uh, two girls that I think definitely need more time in the NXT oven. Yes, yeah, so did Lacey Evans, but that didn't stop them. Oh, Lacey Evans was much further along than those. No, two she are. wasn't. I'm... Or sorry, watch watch her five minutes alone in the Rumble and tell me she's further along than she needs to be. Mm, 
So, the Sorg, watch it again. Mm -mm. She is not. She is not. She is Alexa Bliss wearing gloves in the ring. That's not good. Um, I would like it to be two girls from NXT UK. Mm-hmm. That's what, nice. like. That'd That's what be... I would like. That's what I would Oh, that makes so much sense. That's what I would like it to be. Mm-hmm. I don't know who from NXT UK. Um, I wish Dakota Kai was not injured because Dakota Kai and someone would be perfect. Um, uh, wishful thinking from Tina in the chat. Mia Yim and Lacey Lane. Oh, God, Tina. That, yeah, that'd be great. Um, I actually did see that they're doing a tag team. I really hope it's not them. Zia Lee and Kavita Devi. Like they're teaming up. They're gonna be on the Worlds Collide special. Okay. Um, it could be them. I hope it's not because they need more seasoning as well. But I uh, more time. Brandon think Viper and Tony Storm. It ain't gonna be the NXT UK Women's Champion. Definitely yeah. not. Gonna be I don't know. We do have the NXT freaking Tag Team Champions on Raw now. Mm. Although they didn't, they didn't really say that, did they? I'm convinced the NXT Tag Team Champions are the War Raiders, and this other team is um, they're the War Raiders Tethered, for those of us, those of you who have seen us. Damn it! Damn it, Mad Mike! <laughs> I mean, I was, that's a, not a theater movie, but I want to see that one. Oh, it's a theater movie. Uh, it's good. Mm, it's good, it's fun. Have you seen Bright? Have you seen the trailer for Brightburn? You mean Superman Red Sun? Thank yeah, you, thank you. It's literally thank all you. it is. It, it's it's just bad it, Superman. It, it's it's all of that without the commies. That's all. How are it. they not getting sued for this? I, this is a different podcast. The the, the, the Geek Podcast Honestly, left this, two hours this is a ago. Podcast than what Raw was. By the way, uh, thank you, thank you. My chair is nice and warm, and and the studio is all warmed up because we did have comic book pit in here uh, earlier this afternoon. Uh, speaking Matt, of- make, that makes a lot of sense. R- Matt says Ripley and Randy Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. I could see them going against the Iconics. That I could definitely see. But um, I would just like to, I do would just like to be Jazzy and Piper. That would be phenomenal. Oh jeez, that would just oh, be phenomenal. If only. If only. God, God, they they're like the much much upgraded version of Tamina and Nia Jax. They're like the much upgraded version of Tamina and Nia Jax. They I don't really think there's any, any other girls they've, they've recently signed that they could hot shot up there that have been around for a bit. But Well, Casey Catanzaro. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But she she just debuted. Now you could go Candice LeRae. Mm-hmm. You could go Candice. Candice and Casey. Candice and Casey. You could do that. Like, honestly, let's do that. <laughs> Sure, because uh, oh, actually no, because Johnny probably isn't getting moved now. Oh, by the way, uh, Sorg, I made a really good funny. Um, there was some Twitter account. I think it was the Tights and Fights podcast. They were uh, they had a thread. Take a current NXT superstar and give them a really terrible call up name. <laughs> so I had one for Johnny Gargano. His name is spelled the same. But you pronounce all the J's like a G and all the G's like a J. So it would be Ghani Jargano. <laughs> uh, Larry's saying depending on the outcome of SmackDown tomorrow, he might be taking a six-month sabbatical from WWE. If, I would not blame you. If you do that, if you do do that, um, I would uh, re- <laughs> do do. <laughs> I would recommend um, um, using that time to discover more other wrestling. That that makes um, you that, Larry, that, Larry, that puts Larry in a happy place. Larry, Larry, if you take a six, six month sabbatical from WWE and you don't watch all of Lucha Underground, I will murder you. Mm. I will straight up murder you. Straight up, straight up. That's you know it's fine. Just straight up murder. Yeah. With Bray Wyatt's creepy page doll. Yeah. Fighting with my family in on DVD and Blu-ray coming soon. <laughs> Jeez, Matt I Mike, thank you so much. <laughs> no, sorry, that's not my name. I for, I uh what, the what, podcaster experience the pa- the podcaster experience from uh, Beacon, New York. 
Yes. Uh, uh, but his Twitter still is Mad Mike four eight eight three. By the way, well, that's because by I have way, so many followers at this point. I don't want to confuse people. I know. I know. That's okay. Ray Rose uh, uh, or Eric. Eric with a K. They're gonna make. They're gonna make him dye his beard red. Oh please no. You know they're gonna do it. No. Don't ruin you know they're gonna do it. If they'll add, if they'll add drawbridge sounds to a fucking casket, oh. and. Pew 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 uh, sounds to a guy named Ricochet. Uh, They're gonna make his eyes they, weird. Red. Did they do that? Yes. Oh, oh, uh -huh. oh! You hurt me. You hurt me. You do this oh, though, and you can't even not spoil the Usos coming out on Monday Night Raw. But yep. I mean, to be fair, the Usos had to get moved. We are Usos. gonna be back tomorrow, uh, Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time, on um, the Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem Show. As and well see as, who uh, gets shaken up from other podcasts onto the Mayhem Show. Yes, yes. Will Bro Hemoth be on the awesome cast? Who knows? Oh, God. We have an internal shake up. Mike, we're going to have you on the awesome cast. We're going to send uh, Chilla to Wrestling Mayhem Show, who, by the way, does not watch a bit of wrestling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be a fun time. But anyways, uh, thank you so much, everybody, joining us here on our Monday Night Hangout uh, on Facebook Live. And again, you can subscribe to this. This is the Monday Mayhem wrap-up that you can also hit up over on the WMS Super Feed. A lot of great stuff happening this week. We're going to be talking uh, about uh, legal marijuana in the state of Pennsylvania with some experts on Pittsburgh Current uh, going on at 4 p.m. Thursday. Uh, we will also, this is in the works. Mike, have you seen this? We're going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons with the Bearcat and friends. Keith Hot will be here uh, uh, with some Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, we're working on the guest list as well. Um, at least one other, I think, wrestler will be with us, uh, too, uh, working that out. That will be Friday evening, um, probably on uh, the Mayhem Show Facebook, as well as the Sorgatron Media Twitch, or maybe Indie Wrestling, I, I, one of the Twitch pages. Either way, we'll, we'll host it or whatever, too. Sorg? Yes? Sorg, I haven't heard it yet. That sounds like a critical hit. Hey! No, somebody else already has that. Um, I know, I know. I... Mm -hmm. That's uh, the, it's literally the only thing I know about. Bear, Cat, and Friends. Maybe we can get Tony Johnson is. I don't know how much of a, his tag team partner is a D&D nut, but I know a couple of them. Uh, Devious I, Minds. I tried watching the Up, Up, Down thing. Up, Up, Down, Down thing they do. Uh -huh. couldn't, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't do it. Well, we'll find out by if you way, guys can watch it. Hold on. One more thing about Raw. Raw has completely fucked Xavier Woods. Why? All of his friends he plays video games with are gone. No! The Usos, AJ Styles, Tyler Breeze, Seth Rollins, they're all gone. The only one left is Kofi. Mm, that sucks. I'm not done with my plugs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Wednesday sorry. It, night. It, it occurred to me. Wednesday night, we will be talking with Ray Lint. Yes. who is fresh off of her trip uh, six weeks in Japan. She came back a couple weeks ago. Also, apparently she's also being featured on Women of Honor uh, that was filmed this past week in Pittsburgh. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know if that's going to be on television or on their YouTube channel. Um, they've been do doing a little bit of both lately, I think, with that. Um, and also, uh, I don't know if we talked about it too much. Congratulations to friend of the show uh, that we work with over at Angel Gate, Kelly Klein. As the women's champion, I finally got to watch. Well, I, I still need to watch more of the uh, Ring of Honor New Japan show, but I got at least up through that match uh, to see that. So, anyways, Ben Mike, thank you so much. Oh, the pleasure was not not anyone who watched Raw. So oh, okay. I I I was I yeah, I was okay with Raw. It was okay. It was Raw. It was good. Hanging out. Good stuff. You've seen friends of the show on Monday night. No matter what their name may be these days, <laughs> at least. They're doing it. I've and never let, been scared of anyone named Eric. And let's see. Eric. Eric. Is there I've an never Eric? Is there an Eric? I mean, Eric Eric Young was a little... No. I was never scared of him. No, can't say I was. He was a good conversation. Um, yeah. Other Eric's in wrestling. Now I got to think about other Eric's in wrestling. Thanks. Mm. Um. Anyways, we'll see you guys next Eric time. Eric Escobar. <laughs> Thank you, chat room. Again, Larry, Tina, Brandon, Main, uh, Mac, Mac Carlins, and everybody else has popped in throughout the night. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, keep it Monday. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it. Shake it up. And we get pulled from YouTube. Later. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.